Hello and welcome to the first in a series of Blender tutorials in which we're going to learn how to work with basic modeling and animation tools in Blender. So Blender is an open source 3D modeling and animation package, very much like Maya and 3ds Max, which would be industry standard 3D modeling and animation tools. But Blender is open source and completely free, uh, as well as being constantly developed and updated by the Blender community. So first of all, we're going to have a look at the Blender interface and <clears throat> we can see here that the viewing pane is for moving objects, for rotating and changing views. And when you open Blender first, you always start with three objects, a cube, a lamp and a camera. So to select objects in Blender, all you have to do is right click on them with your mouse. Um, with the right mouse button and then that selects them and puts this yellow uh, outline around them. You can change the view in three different ways. Um, it's essential that you have a mouse with a roller wheel in order to use Blender properly. Um, if you don't have one of those it makes it extremely difficult to use the software so just go out and invest in uh, um, a mouse with a roller wheel. They're fairly inexpensive. So the first way that you can change the view is by zooming in and out. And to do that with the mouse, you can ho roll, scroll the mouse wheel up and down, and that's going to zoom in and out on your object. The second way is to rotate the perspective by pressing and holding the mouse wheel and moving the mouse. And this will rotate your object in 3D space. And th the third and final way is to pan by holding the shift key and then pressing and holding the mouse wheel button and moving the mouse around. So the three ways again are zoom by scrolling in and out with the mouse wheel, rotate by holding down the mouse wheel button and moving the mouse, and pan by holding the shift key first and then holding the mouse wheel button and moving the mouse around. It's very important to learn keyboard shortcuts in Blender. The software is built primarily on this and there's lots of keyboard shortcut cheat sheets available that you can use to uh, as reference guides but basically you should practice them early and try to pick them up and memorize them as quickly as you can so if your keyboard doesn't have a number pad um, what you need to do is to go to user preferences in the file menu and then tick the emulate numpad box under the input heading to make your standard keyboard number row act like a number pad. And the reason for this is that you can use your numbers to change the view that you're looking at in your main viewport. So if you press the number one key, Blender is going to show you the front view of your object. If you press the three key, it's going to give you the side view. And if you press the seven key, you're going to get the top view. If you press the five key, Blender will switch between perspective and orthogonal view. So orthogonal is usually better for modeling objects as it does not appear to distort shapes when you're moving. Whereas if you're in perspective mode and you're moving or panning or zooming in, you're going to get a distorted perspective on your object. So uh, it's generally better to work in orthogonal view when you're looking at top or side view or front. Okay, so we can duplicate our cube by pressing Shift and D. That's one of the keyboard shortcuts. And then clicking with the left mouse button anywhere else, and it will create a duplicate of our cube. So the gizmo is a very important feature of Blender. It allows you to move, rotate, and scale your objects on the X, Y, and Z axes. And it looks like it's that uh, object there in the center of your cube which has three different colored arrows in the center of the object. So when you're in front view, the X arrow on the gizmo moves your object left and right, the Y arrow moves it up and down, and the Z arrow moves it closer or further away from you. So click on and click and drag on one of the arrows to move the object in that particular direction in 3D space and the gizmo controls are actually located at the bottom of the viewing pane. 
You can switch between move, rotate, and scale modes to control each of these on the X, Y, and Z axes with the gizmo. So have a go at doing this with your cube. Switch to rotate and then drag on the arrows. Switch to scale and have a go at it, see what happens. And basically you can turn off the gizmo controls with the first icon in the control panel there to the left of the move, rotate and scale buttons. You can also switch to move mode by using keyboard shortcuts. So if you press G on your keyboard for grab, that's going to switch to move or grab mode. If you press R, it's going to switch to rotate mode and S will switch to scale mode. So depending on which view you are using, some of the axes will be locked depending on which uh, mode you are in. For example, if you switch to front view by pressing the one key on your number row, now switch to, switch to gizmo to rotate by pressing or, and then rotate the cube, and you'll notice that it's locked on the other axes. So this has been a basic introduction to the Blender interface and some of the commonly used tools and keyboard shortcuts.